India and Australia are leading the boycott against Made in China, and China is rattled to its core. Coronavirus pandemic is damaging China's image, and Beijing is now being hit where it hurts the most, its manufacturing and export sector. Two major players, India and Australia, are looking to boycott its products, and a rattled China is already feeling the heat. As per a latest report from the CCP mouthpiece Global Times, Products made in China are causing a stir in Australia, with some Australians calling others to ditch Chinese items. The CCP mouthpiece, which usually gives a knee-jerk reaction only when Beijing is rattled, has suffered a major meltdown. It says that Australians are overreacting against Chinese products and goes on to say, there is a clear anti-China sentiment in Australia and even the Australian social media is replete with calls for boycotting Chinese goods. Local media reports too have stated that Australian consumers do not want to buy Made in China bags and there are discussions between Australian consumers aimed at boycotting China-made products. This is what led to the Chinese state media outlet Global Times suffering a major meltdown. The last time Beijing suffered such a meltdown was when Indians made a call for boycotting Made in China goods. The mouthpiece had then claimed Indians can hardly resist buying Chinese quality goods. It had also written, if the Indian government allows the irrational anti-China sentiment to continue ruining bilateral relations, it is likely to draw tit-for-tat punishment from Beijing. China is rattled and has been issuing threats because it knows that anti-China sentiment in such countries is bound to debilitate its exports-based economy. As for Australia, the bilateral relations between Beijing and Canberra are at an all-time low. It all started with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison demanding an international probe into the origins of the COVID-19 outbreak. China, however, resorted to aggression to contain Australia. Over the recent past, Beijing has imposed tariffs on barley and meat imports from Australia, apart from threatening to stop sending students and tourists down under. China wants to punish Australia. It is using Canberra's economic dependence on Beijing to harass it. And now China has also sentenced an Australian national to death after a Chinese court convicted him on drug smuggling charges. Sino-Indian tensions haven't been too different either, though the Modi government hasn't been as direct as the Morrison government. But the fact remains that there is palpable anti-China sentiment within India. When the coronavirus pandemic reached India, open source intelligence and fact-checking from Voyager Infosec discovered that Chinese app TikTok was being used to circulate videos prompting Muslims in India against following safe practices to avoid COVID-19. China's aggression at the border further angered Indians who decided to take on the Chinese video sharing app. They flooded it with negative reviews on Google Play Store and its ratings plummeted to 1.3 stars. However, search giant Google jumped into the fray and salvaged the falling TikTok ratings by deleting millions of reviews. And then, Indian netizens came up with the Remove China Apps, an app to rid mobile phones of Chinese apps that garnered 5 million downloads within a fortnight with a high rating of 4.9 stars. This app too was removed by Google at the behest of China, but it spooked Beijing. And this is actually what led to the Chinese state mouthpiece into threatening India and saying, India's cashing in on anti-China sentiment using the app Remove China Apps is likely to draw punishment from Beijing. The Global Times keeps repeating itself. Even India's dairy giant Amul came up with memes on Twitter that targeted the dragon and promoted Make in India. Twitter tried to restrict Amul's handle but had to give in to popular sentiment. The tweets went viral and Amul had the last laugh. Prime Minister Modi has never openly called for a boycott of Chinese goods, but people understand his call for Atmanirbhar Bharat or self-reliant India and they understand that Chinese goods have to be boycotted if supply lines are to be reshaped. This is why the most powerful body of traders in India, the Confederation of All India Traders, has decided to boycott Chinese goods worth more than 1 lakh crore rupees, that is $13 billion approximately, by December 2021. This is not a sentimental move, but it is calculated and well-planned to push Chinese goods out of India. This can alter trade equations significantly between New Delhi and Beijing, severely denting the trade surplus of around $48.66 billion that China enjoys over India. The fact remains that governments do not have to push people for boycotts. China lied and people died, 
people across countries have lost loved ones and many have also lost livelihoods the ongoing pandemic has become a humanitarian crisis also Everyone who has lost out on something blames China and rightly so. Boycott of Chinese goods is a necessity corollary of its aggression and Australia and India are leading this boycott.